and welcome back to our Honors YouTube channel. In our last video, we had students talk about their research experiences. Today, in this video, we're actually going to go over a brief overview about the Honors Thesis timeline. This timeline we'll be talking about assumes a spring graduation date. Note that if you plan on graduating in fall or winter, some deadlines are going to change. The Honors Thesis is a faculty-mentored undergraduate research experience that culminates in a final research project. While there is no set page requirement for your research, it should be an appropriate length for your area of study, whether that's a five-page short story or a 50-page experimental study. You must do at least two quarters of research, and your faculty advisor must be tenured or a tenure-track professor. Keep in mind that there are also many classes that you could take so you could get credit while you're doing your research. In the fall of your junior year, you'll receive an email to set up an honors research meeting with an advisor. In this meeting, you'll basically speak with an advisor to go over the research process, um, what your plan is, as well as have time to ask any questions about research in general. Before you attend this meeting, we recommend that you definitely check up on the honors research handbook and also kind of think about some ideas that you have in terms of something you may want to do for your research project. In the winter, you should start identifying the faculty that you want to work with, and you could even start sending your emails at this time. I know for some majors, like bio, we actually have a website with a list of faculty who are actively searching for students. In my experience, I actually emailed around five faculty, and there's actually a sample email online in the Honors Thesis Handbook. What I did in my email was I introduced myself, my major, my career goals, and why I was interested in joining their lab. I also mentioned from the start that I would be doing honors thesis and I would love to do honors research under their guidance. Lastly, I also attached a resume. Don't give up if you don't hear back. Continue to search for faculty. I know some friends of mine who emailed multiple labs and they didn't hear back quickly, but in the end, they still did find a lab that they loved. Lastly, in the winter for transfer students, there's actually a transfer workshop about getting started in research, so just look in CHC News about that. In the spring, transfer students will have their honors thesis meeting with the advisors. There's also a lot of opportunities in the spring. For example, you could apply for the Spring Europe Grant, and Europe stands for the Undergraduate Research Opportunities Program. Europe will give you money for any reasonable requests, and getting a Europe grant looks really good on your resume. It means that you successfully won a grant as an undergrad, which shows initiative and commitment. If you're not ready to apply for a Europe grant during spring, don't worry, you'll have another opportunity to apply during the You can also gain funding from SERP, which is the Summer Undergraduate Research Program. At the end of spring and starting in summer, you can actually start conducting your honors research. Try to start as soon as possible if you feel ready. Submit your honors thesis proposal to the honors office by week two of fall quarter. If you're graduating earlier, you'll need to submit your honors thesis proposal two quarters in advance. It doesn't have to be signed, but make sure to give a copy to your thesis advisor. That can help you open up a conversation with them about expectations and your plan timeline. There are three essential things your proposal must have. You need a tentative title, the name of a faculty advisor with whom you will be working, and a description of your research project. Don't panic. The thesis proposal is not meant to keep you up at night. Use it to organize your ideas and be on track for your project. You'll continue to work on your research throughout winter and start writing up your thesis. In the spring, we recommend you submit your abstract to the Europe office for the annual undergraduate research symposium and submit your thesis for consideration for the campus-wide honors and UCI Libraries Thesis Award. Your final thesis is due no later than the last working day in June. On Canvas, you can see a list of the due dates for whichever quarter you will be graduating in. In general, you will submit to the Honors Office in a new folder your final approved thesis, your thesis abstract, and a signed thesis approval form. Online, you will submit an electronic copy of your thesis and abstract, an online senior exit interview, and a CHC thesis input form. We recommend you give a copy of your completed thesis to your faculty advisor as well. 
And then you can celebrate, give yourself a pat on the back, and feel accomplished for doing this amazing feat. We encourage you to start research as soon as possible so you can plan ahead. All this information that we covered is actually in the research handbook, which is on our honors website. If you have any questions, you can comment below, or you can also email us or see chat the PAAs. Thanks for watching our video. We'll see you next time.